Hello children, I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to study a new chapter that is chapter 2, motion part 1. So children, rest and motions are some common terms which we use in our day-to-day -day lives. Say how? Suppose children, if I say that houses, standing trees, electric poles, they are at rest. So how can I say that these objects are at rest? These objects are at rest because position of these objects with respect to a fixed point does not change with time. That is the reason I am saying that these objects are at rest. Means these objects are not changing their position. Not changing their position means they are not moving. So I will say that these objects are at rest. Children, suppose your house is at this place. Is your house is going to change its position after some time? Or after some time it will move to this place? No. Your house will remain at fixed place. It is not changing its position with respect to time. So, your house is at rest. Similarly, if I say that electric poles are there. So, are these electric poles are changing their position? No, they are not changing their position. Okay, their position of the body or the position of these electric poles with respect to a fixed point. With respect to a fixed point means that fixed point can be anything. Suppose if, if we consider these electric poles with respect to this surface of the earth also. Okay. So, the position of these poles are not changing with respect to a fixed point. Or I can say that position of these objects with respect to a fixed point does not change with time. So, these objects are at rest. They are not moving. They are at rest. There are many examples of the objects which are at rest. Suppose if I say... Your book lying on a table. Your book lying on a table. Is this book is at rest? Yes. This book is at rest. Because the position of the book with respect to a fixed point. Fixed point can be anything. Suppose this fixed point is this table. Okay. The position of this book. With respect to a fixed point, fixed point can be anything. Suppose this table is not changing with time. Position of this book with respect to a fixed point is not changing with time. So this book is at rest. Okay. Another example. Suppose if I say that a bench, a bench is fixed. A bench is fixed under the shade of the tree. So, is this bench is at rest? Yes, this bench is at rest because this the position of this bench with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding is not changing with time. I am saying that bench key position with respect to a fixed point. With respect to a fixed point means that fixed point can this tree also. Means this position of this bench with respect to with respect to this tree is not changing with time. Okay. So this bench is at rest. Bench tree ke respect me. This bench with respect to tree is not moving. This bench with respect to tree is not moving with time. Okay. So this bench is at rest. 
Okay, children. So I think children, I am clear to you. So what is the definition for rest? A body is said to be at rest if its position with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding do not change with time. Means, as I gave you the example of bench, a bench is fixed under the shade of the tree. Okay, so is this bench is moving? No, it means the position of this bench is fixed. Okay, position of this bench is fixed. With respect to a fixed point, what is that fixed point? Fixed point is this tree. Position of this bench is, is not changing with respect to a fixed point in its surrounding with time. Time ke saath saath bench ki position nahi change ho rahi hai. So this bench is at rest. That is the reason the definition for rest is a body is said to be at rest if its position with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding do not change with time. And children, one more thing. Fixed point can be anything. Suppose that it is not necessary that we are observing this bench with respect to this tree only. Maybe we are observing this bench with respect to the pole. Okay. So, fixed point ke, uh, reference mein dekhna, matlab, fixed point can be anything. If the position of the object does not change, does not change with time with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding, then that object is said to be at rest. So, children, I am very clear to you. Okay? Okay. Now, look here, this example. The car, just see here, I am talking about this example. The car does not change its position with respect to the tree with time. Same definition I told you about rest or not. The car, this car is not changing its position with respect to a fixed point. Which is that fixed point? The fixed point is this tree. The car is not changing its position with respect to a fixed point means that fixed point is your tree with time. Okay, the car does not change its position with respect to a, with respect to the tree with time. So, this car is at rest. On the other hand, figure 2.1b, the car is changing its position with respect to the tree with time. So, this car is in motion with respect to the tree. Okay, here the example of both rest and motion is given to you. Just see this example children. In this example, this car is not changing its position with respect to a fixed point with time. Time ke saath saath car ki position nahi change ho rahi with reference to a fixed point. So this car is at rest. Now what, which objects are said to be in motion? Moving objects are said to be in motion. Okay, first of all, I'll tell you which objects are in motion. Moving objects are said to be in motion. Okay, children. So, this car, this car is moving. Okay, and this car is moving with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding with time. Or I can say that the position of the car is changing with time. Agar kisi object ki position time ke saath saath change ho rahi hai. Wo object move kar raha hai, time ke saath saath. So it means that object is in motion. Okay. So as I have cleared about rest, I suppose you have got the clearance about motion. You are moving birds. Birds moving. Sorry. Birds flying in the sky. Birds flying in the sky. Are these birds are in motion? Yes. These birds are in motion because these birds are changing its position with respect to time, okay, in reference to a fixed point or an object. So, moving objects are in motion and those objects which do not move with time are at rest. So, sub I think children, I am clear to you. Yes or no? Okay, now that's good. 
so what is the definition for motion is given a body is said to be in motion if its position with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding keep changing with time okay if its position position of the object with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding keep changing with time then that object is said to be in motion so children for rest object does not change its does not change its position does not change its position with time okay means object is not moving it is fixed and for motion object is changing position with time okay and in both cases whether it is rest or motion whether the object is at rest or motion we observe rest and motion with respect to a fixed point okay we observe whether the object is at rest or in motion with respect to a fixed point so i think children i am clear to you okay so just see some examples are given in your book a book kept on the table kept on a table is at rest a bird flying in the sky is in motion okay and some other examples are given here so we can say that sofa kept in a room or a book lying on a table are at rest because as long as their positions do not change with respect to a fixed point in the surroundings with time they are said to be at rest on the other hand football kicked by a player the hands of a clock or a bird flying in the sky are said to be in motion as long as their position keep changing with respect to a fixed point in a surrounding with time means if the ob if the position of the object with respect to a fixed point in their surrounding keep changing with time then that object is said to be in motion motion mein object kya karta hai मूव करता है और रेस्ट में ऑब्जेक्ट क्या होता है फिक्स होता है सो चिल्ड्रन आई थिंक आई एम वेरी क्लियर टू यू ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज मोशन इज रिलेटिव मोशन इज रिलेटिव व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस मोशन इज रिलेटिव मोशन इज रिलेटिव मींस मोशन ऑब्जर्व बाय द ऑब्जर्वर डिपेंड्स ऑन द लोकेशन ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वर ओके motion is relative means that whether the object is in motion or not whether the object is in motion or not it depends upon the observance of the observer okay you can't say for suppose for you one object can be for you one object can be in motion okay but at the same time for other person that object cannot be in motion so children that motion is relative means that motion of the body depends upon the observance of the observer means observer kis tarah object ko kis reference mein dekh raha hai okay in which location the observer is observing the motion so motion is relative motion is relative means motion is depending relative means motion is depending on the observance of the observer okay a body can a, suppose there is one body which can be in motion for one object or for one person for one person one body can be in motion but same body can be at rest or it can uh, or it is not moving with respect to other person ek person ke reference mein that body is in motion and at the same time same body may not be in motion with respect to other person so it means that what is happening here motion is relative means motion of the body 
और मोशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट मोशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वर ओके ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वर एनी पर्सन हाउ दैट पर्सन इज ऑब्जर्विंग दैट बॉडी इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वर मीन्स ऑब्जर्वर उस ऑब्जेक्ट को जो बॉडी मोशन में उसको किस रिस्पेक्ट में देख रहा है ओके सो दैट डिसाइड्स वेदर द ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन मोशन और नॉट नाउ वेरी क्लियर एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन इन योर बुक इट विल बी मोर क्लियर टू यू चिल्ड्रेन सपोज वेन यू ट्रेवल इन अ बस आई एम रीडिंग फ्रॉम योर बुक ओनली वेन यू ट्रेवल इन अ बस योर बॉडी ऑल्सो मूव इन द सेम डायरेक्शन and at the same speed and at the same speed do uh, same speed is that of the bus yes or no children suppose you are sitting inside a bus so are you going to move with the same speed as that bus is moving yes or no same thing is given that when you travel in a bus your body also moves in the same direction and at the same speed as that of the bus because you are inside that bus so whatever will be the speed of the bus your speed will be same or not yes however you do not feel that your body is moving during the journey it appears so because your body does not change position with respect to the seat you are sitting or with respect to other fixed point in the bus okay children are you getting it but if you look outside the bus but if you look outside the bus you can see the position of your body keep changing with respect to the objects such as trees and houses by the sides of the road this shows that your body is in motion with respect to a with respect to the trees and other fixed objects at outside the bus means children suppose you are sitting inside a bus and bus is moving with the speed of 50 km per hour and suppose somebody is standing outside so for this person are you in motion yes you are in motion with respect to this person okay because the person which is who is sitting inside the bus is moving with the same speed at the as the speed of the bus that is 50 km per hour but children the one who is sitting inside the bus that person is not feeling that he uh, his position is changing with respect to a fixed point that fixed point can be his seat only okay that person feels that his position is not changing with respect to his seat so he feels the person who is sitting inside the bus feels that he is at rest but same person if he uh, that same person is observed by other person outside the bus then that outside person will see that the person who is sitting inside the bus is moving okay so you can see here that same object is at is at in uh, is in motion or at rest depends upon the depends upon the observance of the observer yes or no okay this was the example from my side but in your book one uh, more example is given see here a person sitting in a bus is at i'm reading here a person sitting in a bus is at rest with respect to the bus but in motion with respect to the surroundings outside the bus same thing i have explained you yes or no children a person sitting in a bus will feel that he is at rest because his position is not changing with respect to his seat but same person can be said to be same person same person can be said to be in motion if that person is seen or observe outside the bus the person who is standing side by the road so he will feel this person will feel that the person who is sitting inside the bus 
is in motion why it, the person sitting inside the bus is in motion because that person is moving with the same speed at the, as the speed of the bus that is 50 km per hour but the person who is sitting inside the bus he feels that he is not in motion he is at rest here because his position is not changing with respect to his seat so what is here the motion of the object is relative means the motion of the object depends upon observer to observer for one observer the object can be at motion and for other observer the same object cannot be at motion it uh, this object can be at rest okay means motion of the object depends upon observer to observer or it depends upon the observance of the observer i suppose children i am clear to you and one more line is given here that when two bodies are in motion when two bodies are in motion the change of position when two bodies are in motion the change of position of one body with respect to other body depends upon their two factors their speed and their direction of motion yes or no children suppose two cars are moving at okay parallelly side by side two cars are moving so their change of position will depends upon their speed bhai jiski speed zyada hogi wo uska position change of position zyada hoga okay and if their speed will be same they will move at the same pace or rate yes or no so if two when two bodies are in motion the change of position of one body change of position of one body change of position of one body with respect to other body depends upon their speed and their direction of motion okay children so i suppose children i am clear to you this is the first part of this chapter and if you will read this thing in your book it will be more clear to you okay children and i hope children that you have seen all the previous videos of chapter 1 okay i have tried my best to explain you that and if you have any doubt do comment me so thank you class